So I went and bought this used Poland Predator chainsaw. I've seen these before and I've always wanted one um, just because I'm I kind of like pulling chainsaws that, that's pretty much all I have um, and I just thought the name was kind of cool the theme predator with the teeth on there and then you got the pulling wild thing and then I have a pulling wood shark back there um, so I saw this come up for 50 bucks and had to have it. Um, it was dusty when I brought it home, wiped it off. But other than that, I mean, it's it's really clean on its own. I mean, all the plastic's in good shape and no cracks or breakage or dents anywhere. I mean, even the bar here still says Predator on it. Whereas like this saw uh, here, this bar used to be all black and it said wild thing on it and it's worn down because it's been used enough. So this saw has to have really light use on it because it's not worn at all. I guess that side is a little bit, but. Um, so he said that he used it about a year ago and hasn't started it since. So it probably needs some new gas or maybe a plug or maybe carb work. I don't know. Chain on here is in great shape other than it's extremely dull. You can just tell by feeling it. It ain't going to barely cut anything. It's probably incredibly dangerous the way it is if it were running. Because it wouldn't cut very well. So I'll probably have to sharpen that. I don't know if the rakers need to be filed or not. But... Hopefully it fires up. It's practically the same saw as this one. I bought this one brand new at least 10 years ago. Had to have been 10 years by now. And looking at them, they're pretty much the same thing. I mean, all the plastic's the same. The cover, the controls, the handle, even the grip is the same. Different colors, obviously, but I mean, they're pretty much the same saw. 42cc. PP4218A. This one's a PPR4218A, so they're pretty close. Um, so, but anyway, so uh, there is gas in this. I'm gonna dump that out. I can hear it in there, and it doesn't smell too good. I think it smells kind of varnishy. Um, so I'll probably dump that gas out and then throw some new stuff in, see if it even starts. If it doesn't, I'll take the spark plug out, check that out, maybe look into the car, but really hoping that it just kind of runs on its own and running it for a while, kind of clean itself out. And that will give me another saw to use um, for 50 bucks. So he also gave me this old saw. It's an Echo, Eco, Echo, whatever that is. Model 452 VL, obviously older. It's got an Oregon bar on there. Kind of a gnarly looking thing. It's extremely heavy and uh, this handle's missing some bolts. But I really don't have too much ambition to do anything with that. I need to get all my other saws running good first before I dig into something older like this. But it was free, so I took it. Anyway, I'll dump this gas out and throw some new stuff in. Let's see if it runs.
So this thing is obviously dull. I didn't want to keep going with it. So I'm going to sharpen this using my Oregon electric sharpener here. There we go. This thing probably needs new grinding stone on it, but I just keep using it because it's not terrible yet. It still sharpens. That's way better. Yeah, this thing is extremely dull. That's a world of difference. Much, much sharper. I'm doing 30 degrees, which is kind of what I think it was already at. So I'm just trying to match it. I don't want to completely reshape these into a different angle. But So I'll just go through this and get all those as sharp as I can. And this thing makes it pretty easy as opposed to using a uh, hand file. So... Get all these sharpened and we'll try it again.
Well, the chain is definitely sharper, but uh, not running too good. So I don't know if it's still running kind of the crappy gas through or my guess is the carburetor is probably dirty. Um, it's kind of doing the same surge thing that my yellow saw did as well as I have a pole in a uh, leaf blower somewhere that did the same thing. So if you kind of goose the throttle a little bit like this while you're running it, it'll kind of stay running better. Whereas if you just hold the throttle down, it just bogs out and dies. And uh, like I've said in some of my other videos on chainsaws, I don't know a lot about these little tiny carburetors and little engines and all that. But, uh, yeah, so probably have to rip that apart, clean it out better, which is fair considering it sat for a year or more. But uh, still a cool saw for 50 bucks, so I'm happy with it. At least I know it runs. So I'll probably have to uh, order some parts for it the same time I order parts for my yellow one, as well as possibly need something for this wild thing this one here runs good but when it gets hot it shuts down can't remember why and i think somebody said something to me in the comments about it once this one here runs but really chunky and then it dies and being that all these saws that i have sit forever and then get ran and then sit again i'm sure 99 percent of all of it's carburetor stuff so I did think about just getting a whole bunch of carburetors and doing them all at once and having them all running good. But the problem is I'll let them, I'll use them and then I'll let them sit again. So I almost have a hard time justifying having so many, but I don't know. I guess it's nice having extras, but they all need some work. But anyway, so I just thought I'd make a video on this thing. Kind of cool. So. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching.